Welcome back to Microbiology Lab. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to discuss a test that's run on a special type of agar called blood agar, and that is what's known as the hemolysis test. Now let's break down this word hemolysis. So the last part of this lysis means the breakdown of some kind of cell. So the cell is bursting or lysing as we would call it in anatomy. And then hemo is typically the prefix that means blood. And so hemolysis is the breakdown of red blood cells specifically. Uh, for example, if you look in any medical textbook, you'll see a type of anemia called hemolytic anemia. This is a type of anemia that's due to the breakdown of red blood cells or hemolysis specifically. All right. And the hemolysis test is run on blood agar, and blood agar is going to look like a TSA plate, except it's going to be completely red. And the red color is due to the fact that it contains 5% sheet blood. So 5% of the contents of the agar are sheet blood, specifically the red blood cells are what give it its red color. And so this test is going to determine whether or not bacteria can actually lyse red blood cells. Okay? can perform the process of hemolysis. And the process of hemolysis, if they are capable of it, is done through enzymes called hemolysins. And these are enzymes despite the fact that they do not end in the suffix ASE. Right? And so there are three types of hemolysis that we can have. There's beta, alpha, and gamma. And depending on which type of hemolysis is performed, they have a different type of hemolysin. But that's not the important part. The important part is being able to characterize what type of hemolysis we have, beta, alpha, or gamma. So first of all, let's look at conceptually um, what's going on here uh, with the hemolysis, and then we'll actually look at a flow chart and get a little bit more specific with what's going on. So after you inoculate the bacteria on the blood agar and you incubate it and you pull it out, there's a possibility that some of those red blood cells will be degraded away because they've been lysed. And so in the area where hemolysis is taking place, you will not see the red. You can kind of see here some variations of that. We've got an alpha pattern right here and a beta. When we have beta hemolysis, this means we have complete hemolysis. So the bacteria are completely able to destroy the red blood cells in that area around the streak. And so we're also going to have transparency. Now we'll look at it, what this looks like on the next slide, but in simple terms, this means that you're going to be able to see directly through the plate. Okay, because that red has been degraded away. In fact, the test generally for this is if you hold the blood agar up to the light and you can see directly through the plate in the area around the smear, such as right here around this Greek letter beta, then you have beta hemolysis. That's complete hemolysis with transparency. The second kind, this is kind of an intermediate amount, this is alpha hemolysis. This is only partial hemolysis, and we do not have transparency. So it'll look more like this. And the way I would describe it is, you still are gonna have some clearing around the streak of bacteria, but you will not be able to see through clearly to the other side. You'll be able to tell that the red blood cells have been degraded, but you really won't be able to see too well through the other side of the plate. And so we have without transparency, and sometimes I've even referred to it as translucent, almost like you're looking through a stained glass window, whereas in beta, it's like looking through a regular window in your house. Gamma hemolysis is really just our negative result. And so really, we usually either say no hemolysis, or we indicate it with a negative, or you'll see gamma, either the written out or the symbol. Okay. So if you have gamma hemolysis in the area around the smear, you'll just see the red of the blood agar, and that's it. All right. So now let's look at a flow chart, and we'll now be able to see a specific example of alpha and beta hemolysis, because gamma is pretty straightforward. So what you ask yourself first is one of two questions, and these basically mean the same thing. Can you see through the agar at all? Okay. Or is there any sign of clearing around the colonies? In fact, the second question might be a little bit better to look at here. If around the colonies, if around the streak, all you see is just the red of the blood agar, then it's clearly going to be gamma hemolysis or no hemolysis, okay, which is our negative result. Okay? And so you will not see any degradation of red blood cells or of the red around the streak itself. 
Now, on the other hand, if to these questions right here, such as, is there any clearing around the colonies, if your answer is yes, then you either have alpha or beta homolysis, and you have to decide which one it is. So for example, over here, if you only have partial clearing around the co colonies, so if there is definitely clearing of the red blood cells, but it's a little bit darker around the colonies, so it's not the color of TSA, so it's a lot darker like this, then you have alpha hemolysis. Now, I put the transcript, uh, at least a, a line uh, from actually a movie right here, and this is kind of a test. If you have alpha hemolysis, you'll see some clearing right here, but you really should not be able to see through the plate very well to the other side. Um, you may see it through it like a stained glass window, but you will not be able to see clearly through. And the other thing is also the area around this will still be a little bit dark around the streak. Okay. Now, going back here, if instead of partial clearing, if we have complete clearing, meaning it's going to be lighter around the colonies, and the area of clearing is basically going to be similar to the color of TSA, it's a lot lighter, and that also means you'll be able to see clearly through to the other side of the plate, then you have beta homolysis. And notice this, I kind of uh, put this thing together. Um, what we can actually do is we can move the plate um, as we're looking through the light. We could even put some words or a piece of paper on the other side. And if you can kind of see through it like this, like you can see here I'm moving this around, then that's indicative of beta hemolysis. And so this is kind of the general procedure that you would do when you're looking at the results to figure out which type you have. Beta hemolysis, complete hemolysis. Alpha hemolysis is only partial. And then gamma or no hemolysis means none at all. And all you see is just the red around the colonies. Absolutely no degradation of those red blood cells. All right. So I hope this video gave you a good understanding of the hemolysis test, which is done on blood agar. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.